Welcome back to The Lead, the politics lead now. It's a family dispute that's not uncommon in this era, with Americans hardly unanimous on whether same-sex marriage should be legal. 56% are in support, 36 opposed, according to a recent Q poll. And now that rift is on public display for one of the highest-profile families in the nation, the Cheneys. Dad, of course, you may have heard of him. He was vice president. Daughter Mary was, for a time, one of the best-known openly gay Republicans in the country. And now daughter Liz is running for Senate in Wyoming. Her public statement yesterday that she disagrees with her sister's right to marry her longtime partner, Heather Poe, is putting a family spat in the national spotlight. I, Richard Bruce Cheney, do solemnly swear... Sure, Dad is one of the most controversial vice presidents in American history, but today it's the Cheney daughters, Mary and Liz, who are causing a stir. In one corner, Mary, who in the 1990s did outreach to the gay and lesbian community for Coors, who married her longtime partner, Heather Poe, in 2012 in Washington, D.C. They have two children. In the other corner, Liz, the older sister, a former State Department official and current contender in a Senate race, who recently announced her opposition to same-sex marriage. I asked their dad about the possible tension three weeks ago. Is that going to be an awkward Christmas table conversation? <laughs> well... I, uh, my position on, the, on that issue is well known. Uh, I enunciated it in 2000, a debate with Joe Lieberman. I think we ought to do uh, everything we can to, to tolerate and accommodate uh, whatever kind of relationships people want to enter into. It hasn't changed, and uh, I'll let my daughters speak for themselves. And boy, are they. Sunday afternoon on Fox News, Liz Cheney states her position. I do believe in the traditional definition of marriage. I love Mary very much. I love her family very much. This is just an issue on which we disagree. Later, Mary's wife, Heather, responds on Facebook saying, when Mary and I got married in 2012, Liz didn't hesitate to tell us how happy she was for us. To have her now say she doesn't support our right to marry is offensive, to say the least. 20 years ago, Phil and I were married here in Wyoming. Heather even took a veiled shot at what opponents describe as Liz's carpetbagger status in Wyoming. I can't help but wonder how Liz would feel if, as she moved from state to state, she discovered that her family was protected in one but not the other. And almost immediately after Heather's posts, Mary jumps in for some Facebook feather ruffling of her own, writing, couldn't have said it better myself. Liz, this isn't just an issue on which we disagree. You're just wrong and on the wrong side of history. It should be noted that Liz, by opposing a federal marriage amendment, has a more liberal point of view on this than the one George W. Bush held in 2000 and 2004 when Mary worked on those campaigns. Bush Cheney 2004 was a campaign criticized by gay and lesbian rights groups for using opposition to same-sex marriage as a way to rally conservative voters to the polls. Mary explained to David Letterman in 2006 that was tough for her. I actually came very close to quitting the campaign in 2004 over this very issue. My position was as a campaign staffer, and quite frankly, I think it's inappropriate for campaign staffers um, to be issuing their own public policy statements. Though apparently not tough enough. The important thing in 2004, the important issue was national security. I reached out to Liz Cheney this morning and she told me, quote, I love my sister and her family and have always tried to be compassionate toward them. I believe that is the Christian way to behave. The former vice president and Mrs. Cheney released the following statement on the family rift this afternoon, quote, this is an issue we have dealt with privately for many years and we are pained to see it become public. Since it has, one thing should be clear, Liz has always believed in the traditional definition of marriage. She has also always treated her sister and her sister's family with love and respect, exactly as she should have done. Compassion is called for even when there is disagreement about such a fundamental matter and Liz's many kindnesses shouldn't be used to distort her position.